Our mission at Redocrate is to get more consumers using your APIs with less handholding and support. API reference docs are a critical component of our mission. Redocly reference is generated from your open API definitions. We store open API definitions in our API registry. Let's move on to do a tour of the docs. The introduction is generated from the info description section of the open API definition. That section accepts markdown and the H1 and H2 headings are pulled into the sidebar navigation. A few special tags can be used, including the redoc response tag, which pulls the error responses we see here to help support the problem details for HTTP API RFC 7807. We created a specification extension, X tag groups. This allows you to organize your tags together in groups to improve your information architecture by putting related concepts together. Each tag group is rendered as a separator label and each tag rendered as a group in the sidebar. Users read the docs in three ways. Scanning the sidebar and drilling into topics of interest, searching for something specific, top to bottom. Let's use the sidebar and click into an operation. The request and responses are organized neatly into their own containers and examples appear in the right rail. With a smaller viewport, we show a stacked layout. Users can also toggle the layout based on their own preference. Redocly displays every parameter and every property in a request and response body. We support nesting, even with multiple layers. You can set default expansion levels for nesting inside the configuration. For example, the docs we're looking at use schema expansion level two. We support polymorphism and even multiple levels of polymorphism, including the discriminator, any of and one of. You're able to deep link to any property, regardless of the nesting or polymorphism in both requests and responses, which is helpful for support scenarios and collaboration. In addition to the schema definitions, you may optionally display generated code samples and a try it console. And if you've defined multiple examples, this flows through to the code samples and try it too. If you use the same examples map keys across your request and response, we'll sync the examples to show the appropriate response for the request selected. The robust samples and try it features help prepare API consumers to craft requests and handle responses. Let's look at the Try It console first. You can pre-populate an API credential, for example, using a default or based on the user's identity, or let the user enter one in the form. Redocly handles the various security schemes definable within OpenAPI, including HTTP basic auth, bearer tokens, API keys, OAuth 2 flows and OpenID Connect. See our docs for more info. We have a built-in cores proxy, which you can change or disable if your service supports cores, which enables API requests from the browser. Generate code samples automatically based on your API definitions. If you supply examples, the code samples will be using the example data. The important thing with code samples is that we didn't want them to appear like they are machine generated. Instead, we wanted them to look similar to the way humans write code. We are regularly expanding our list of supported languages, compare our code samples to others that are auto-generated, and you will see the difference. Prefer to make your own code samples? No problem. Code samples can also be handwritten and included inside of the open API definition using the X code sample specification extension. Let's look at some other powerful features in Redocly reference. Redocly supports three different pagination options, 
pagination is important for the performance of big APIs. We are looking at the section-based pagination, which creates a page for the info description and a page for each tag. Document webhooks using X webhook specification extension prior to adopting OpenAPI 3.1 or use webhooks in 3.1. Search is configurable and fast and can index nested requests and responses with highlights. Accessibility is important and the API documentation is usable without a mouse by using keyboard navigation. Our API documentation is even tablet and mobile friendly.